Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to the Leaky Pig Pen here in Oxygen Unoccluded. Streaming another game tonight. Uh, we've actually been building this colony since our last stream, where the colony we had before all kind of crashed and burned. This is going to be the last gameplay with this particular colony, with the new update that's coming out this coming Thursday. We'll of course have to start over fresh again. And we're going to want to start a fresh colony because we want to make sure we take advantage of all the new things they're adding to the game. There's a number of different features around... Uh, different types of buildings and things that will be in place. They're adding the new diseases in. Um, as well as uh, these things, the ruins that they're placing in the game. So that when you're exploring around, you have these new little features that you can find. That are kind of like derelict bases and that sort of thing. That you can gain some little bit of benefit on it. What I thought I'd do today, since uh, this is going to be the last time with this colony. Is it would be just kind of fun to play around with this, uh, s this natural gas geyser that's down here. And we'll build a little power setup. Uh, I'm thinking somewhere down in this region. Maybe we can benefit a little bit from... Well, I was going to say we could benefit a bit from the cold that's here, but actually with this abyssalite, it's keeping the temperatures pretty well separated. We might have to dig into that a little bit, try to get some of the cold to spread out so we can take advantage of it. Nevertheless, uh, this is our colony. We've got seven duplicates so far. I think I'm going to go up to uh, probably ten duplicates, maybe. I'll probably stop at eight for a little while, and then we'll get up to maybe ten in total. Hello to everyone that's here in the chat already. As always, thank you to everyone who showed up early to chat and kind of connect with each other. It's fantastic. This little colony is, of course, uh, just a fledging one. We're only at cycle 21. Still doing the research, actually. And it's been a really long time since I've been playing in a game we had to do any research in. Now, I've, I'm already working on the performance combustion, which is where we're going to get that natural gas generator. Uh, we're still going to need to take advantage of some other things. I'm thinking uh, we're going to need... Temperature modulation might not hurt a little bit because we can get some insulation. We're going to try and start to thermally isolate some different areas. Uh, advanced power regulation, I'm not too worried about just yet, although that's going to have to be come into play, I guess, once we get our, our power lines that are our, uh, our natural gas generator set up. Uh, we might actually just even cheat it a little bit this time around. So the way it is uh, currently, the transformer doesn't draw any power when you connect it to a line. So technically, you can put a transformer on just a normal power line, and even though you're supplying with a lot more power than it should technically be able to handle, it doesn't end up breaking the wire. So we might just kind of cheated out that way a little bit. It's not really the intended functionality, but it's something they haven't fixed at this point. Maybe it'll be something that changes with the new with the new update. That should be interesting to see. Uh, so a couple little housekeeping things we have to take care of, of course. Uh, we do need food. So I've started started working on some uh, some little farming down here that we can use uh, to set up some sleet wheat, which would be good. Uh, they still have to come down here and finish building this, unfortunately. Waiting for copper. Fortunately, we do have lots of copper. Get them digging on this sort of thing. Uh, so we'll get them building a little farm down there, so at least we have some food supply. Um, I don't have anything set up in terms of refrigeration or anything yet, so I might even just come down here and put a refrigeration box down in this area. Uh, it's not really going to be necessarily the ideal placement. We could go through the trouble of making a CO2 storage for our, our rations, but um, I think what I'll do is I'll just take advantage of the cold that's down here for now, because, again, this is going to be the last time we're running on this particular colony anyway. Let's grab another duplicate. This will be duplicate number eight. Uh, we have a loud sleeper, a narcoleptic, or a yokel. Well, I mean, we already have people doing the research, so I'm not really worried about that. So I guess we can take the yokel. They have low decor expectations, and they're an ugly crier, so I guess they're not that bad if we get to a stressful position either. Not too many people watching the stream just yet, but who wants to be a duplicant? Can the doo-doo be named after me? Good timing. Welcome to the stream, Jillian. Jillian Dodd, welcome to the colony. So that'll be duplicate number eight. I'm going to shut this off for just now. Uh, we'll work with the eight duplicates we have, and if uh, if everything balances out well this way, then we might actually get this set up instead so that we're going to work with uh, maybe maybe like ten of them is probably where I'm going to max out if I take any more. Uh, we do have a good supply of batteries down here, so that's good. Overall, the decor in the colony, uh, it's not fantastic, but it could be worse. Food shortage. All oh, right. We have 7,000 kilocalories, but we haven't really been growing any food just yet. Uh, I wonder if I should just set something up in here temporarily for some, um, here, we'll get some farm talent here. We'll set some, uh, mealwood. God, holy brain fart. <laughs> uh, so we'll set up some mealwood in here so that we can get that growing a little bit. Um, and then we'll have a little bit of farming capability. Now, the mealwood's going to grow faster than the sleet wheat will. The sleet wheat takes something like 18 cycles or something like that. So, in order for us to get a decent crop out of that, it's going to take a while. And then even once we do get that, we're going to have to be able to cook it. So, you know, it's going to be a little bit on the way for the for that food anyway. I'll put a cooking station in here for now. Although, realistically, 
can't really make much use of this at the moment. Actually, that's going to be really hot right there. Uh, I'll stick it maybe over. You know what? Maybe I'll... What was our temperature up here? Oh, that's already really warm. I hate to put a cooking station up there, so maybe I'll put it down here a little bit lower. Some of them might be closer to uh, where they're going to be gathering the food. And then they're storing it down here in the cold anyway, so... I mean, ultimately not so bad. No god, please no. Wah? All right. Oh, they started building over here. Um, oh, food shortage. Oh, same old, same old. All right, so in here, we've got plenty of mealwood. We can plant some of this for now. Wish, you know what? I'm going to prioritize this so they kind of finish it out quickly. And I need to speed things up. I hate, I hate when my colony's running slow, so we'll get them on fast speed. The rest of this in here, I should probably put farm tile all the way across here. Take advantage of all that. It's not going to be irrigated. We're not going to be shooting for any fantastic, uh, like, excellent yield mealwood or anything like that. But they'll have fertilizer in here. They'll get it from the outhouse up here in the compost pile. Uh, the temperature and the air pressure should be okay in here, too, which is good. So the only thing we'll really be missing is irrigation. But it should get a decent yield. It just won't necessarily be excellent. Filter out CO2 and polluted oxygen like me. Only drawback is that it's super complex. Well, I'm, I'm not really going to do something super complex in here today, I don't think. It just, I don't know, that because this is the last time we're going to play this particular colony, I don't necessarily want to go, like, really overboard with it. More just uh, kind of setting everything up so we can play around with that geyser. My, my primary purpose today is going to be, I want to make I want to make use of this natural gas geyser. So in order to do that, we're going to have to finish out our research, or at least the pieces that we're going to need in the research. Make sure that we have enough food and everything so that people don't die off the way they did in our last colony, and then, of course, have, you know, proper oxygen supply and everything, too. Stans can't span from Sam. Is that supposed to be a, <laughs> is it a tongue twister or whatever? Uh, Calvin, did you die? I don't I don't think anyone's died in this colony. Uh, who have we got in here? Nope, Calvin, you're right there. You're still around. All the colon all the colonists in this particular or all the duplicates in this particular colony are still in good shape, so don't worry don't worry too much about that. Let's copy settings off of this. We'll copy that all the way across here. And we'll get ourselves a fancy little crop of mealwood. It's actually just gonna be just above the range that we necessarily might want it to be for it to be ideal temperature. But that's okay. It's still within the growing temperature. It's going to be just above that 22 degrees it would be for the ideal temp. Not really a big deal, though. Yeah, my calories are low. Uh, relative to the number of people I have. It's not awful, but it's a little bit on the low slide. I, I do have a micro musher, so if worse comes to worse, uh, as they chew through the, the kilocalories we have here, I'm producing some out of the micro musher. It's not great, but at least it's something. Uh, Crab Cats, I already started the stream, so you might have to refresh. Um, it's been going for a little while now. Starting the no, no food diet. That's right. This will be the colony where no duplicates can possibly be overweight. Although that was kind of our last colony also, and it didn't end particularly well for those duplicates. <laughs> They're on the, uh, the, the Gandhi diet. 100% zero calorie. Uh, you know what? I might as well cut all the way across over here. There's not much, not much point in not doing this. Uh, go for uniformity. A lot of the CO2 is going to collect down below here. So the reason I kind of cut into this space is even though we're producing, there's oxalate here that's producing oxygen. Ultimately, what I'll do is I'll, I'll probably put my scrubber down here, let the CO2 kind of drop all the way down to this low level, and then we'll deal with it there. A certain amount of it is going to unfortunately be kind of built up in this space, but you know we'll have to make do. Somebody's going to get their head trapped in here. It happens every time. I should probably dig this out. <laughs> Just to make sure. I think we've got a couple seeds there anyway. So they can dig that out. And then if somebody happens to get their head squished in there, we can cut them out, I guess. What if the dupes could get fat? I think it would be hilarious if they could run around getting fat. That would be great. Uh, do I still play Ark? Uh, yes, although I haven't gotten into the game in a while. I feel like every time I, every time I go to play something, there's like six or seven other games I'm trying to play at the same time. So um, we will definitely be playing some more Ark. I'm just, I haven't got, I, I haven't figured out exactly what that timing is going to be just yet. Yeah, well, they didn't exactly live on the no food diet so well. Yeah, they sort of shrunk, all shrunk down to the point where they just couldn't, uh, they couldn't cut it anymore. Unrefrigerated food. Uh, you know what? I should set these for priority six. Actually, let's set them priority seven. So they'll take all the food from the other storage container if there is any. Not that there's a lot. It's unfortunately a long way from the musher down. Oh, look at this little hatcher. He's going to be stealing all my food on me. Well, I mean, hopefully we can get rid of it. I, I mean, we can either kill off the hatch, which I don't really want to do because they're kind of handy for coal. Or just hope that they collect the food out of here and run with it before it gets to the point of 
the hatch running over and gobbling it up. He actually, he doesn't even have a dirt spot to kind of go into. I should actually just create a, one little spot here that's dirt. So that at least during the daytime, he'll rest. And then he won't be eating anything on me. <laughs> yeah, Norvin, that's pretty much true. It, there's no such thing as just having like a single... A single thing to focus on. I mean, I, I definitely want to get to that geyser, and that's going to be my primary objective, but there's going to be a ton of little things you have to do along the way, because you, you kind of have to tackle all the other stuff. You've got to keep them breathing, and you've got to keep them, you know, eating. <laughs> Gosh, it's such a nuisance, breathing and eating. Uh, I'm going to put some little gas permeable tile in here, just because we're going to wind up cutting away the dirt here, and then this will give a place for any CO2 to drop down. I don't want too much CO2 hanging around on top of the mealwood, because it'll be... It'll be low, um, low uh, gas pressure, and that's not really ideal. Well, how do you, you can sink the hatch in the lower. Yeah, once it digs in here, I can cut it so it kind of drops down, and I guess I guess that would work. Just like let it bear, let it burrow itself in the ground here, and then undercut the ground and let it fall. And then I hope he doesn't take a bunch of damage. Uh, need more research. Let's get in here. We finished out the combustion. So we've got filtration, percolation. Uh, I probably should take care of this because this will give me my air scrubber. And I'm going to need electrolyzers at some point to, to make sure that they stay breathing. That finicky, finicky need for oxygen and all. <laughs> yeah, they are nuisances for Angel. You're right. <laughs> She's like, how dare they continue to breathe? Uh, okay, I'm going to put some planters down here. Uh, it's in the food. I can just use planter boxes for this. Mostly because I don't have to fertilize them or anything. We'll just go that route. Once I get all those built, then we can get some frost wheat going down there. I, I'm, you know what? I'm going to prioritize these two at a six, just so that they kind of tackle these before a few other things. Do I make money off my videos? Yep, I, uh, just through the the ads and whatnot that play. So I, I don't uh, I don't have any other like monetization or that sort of thing. Well, there's a super chat when you're... When you're watching a stream, there's an option to click on the super chat, and you can make donations and that kind of stuff. Uh, but otherwise, I just um, the ads that you see that might play on my videos on YouTube, those uh, those generate some revenue for me as well. So it's not enough that I can live off of it or anything, but it does uh, it does help support my hobby at least. Dupes not die are a problem for you too. Well, I mean, Angel of Darkness is the one that's always like slavering for their poor little souls. Look at all that. I don't have enough all that much sleep weed. I thought I had more than that. All right, we're gonna need to dig some stuff out of here. Because we need more sleep wheat. Here I thought I could get a, a bunch of it planted right now, but I didn't even have all that much stored away yet. That kind of stinks. I'm going to prioritize this as a six. We'll get through, through this a little bit quicker than we would otherwise. Uh, and then they can deal with what's over here so I can set up my scrubber. Now, the scrubber is going to need a supply of clean water. And that's probably going to present a bit of a challenge. Uh, I have both followers and subscribers. It depends on which you're talking about. So in Twitch, people follow, and then there's also an option to subscribe when you get to a certain point if you decide to become uh, a partner with Twitch. Uh, and then in YouTube, they call, they call them subscribers, but they're effectively the same thing, just in different different areas. When did the colony fail? It actually failed in our last stream, so last Thursday we played, and uh, we got to the point where the the air pressure in the, the farm area where we were growing all the sleep, we dropped too low, and we missed a crop cycle, and then the food really tanked, a bunch of, uh, a couple of duplicates died off, and I just let the whole thing crash. Well, Caitlin, you might have an ad blocker, I'm not sure, but, <laughs> but there's... Uh, uh, there are ads that play on the videos that uh, that I upload to YouTube, and those are what generate money for my channel. Okay, so we've got a little bit more sleep wheat. How much can we plant now? Uh, five. <laughs> that didn't help. I guess it was counting the one the seeds that were sitting on the ground. That really stinks. I need more. Give me more sleep wheat. Um, we're gonna need a ladder, I guess, if we're gonna get some more of this stuff. Uh, we'll build the ladder like straight down here. And then, if I just dig across, I can create an opening for them to get in over here, and they can dig up some more sleep wheat for me. Like so, and in the meantime, I might as well plant this. There's no reason for it not to start growing, I guess. Uh, copy settings. We've got, like, another four of those. So I have a little bit, at least, anyway. Not, not, not super awful. Oh, use YouTube Red. Okay, so same idea, Caitlin. When you watch... Uh, with YouTube Red, if you watch the videos... 
then what what they do is they take um, your YouTube Red subscription cost for the month and they kind of divvy it up amongst all the different channels that you watch after taking out their portion. So it actually works out that the amount that it pays out for YouTube Red ends up being higher than running an advertising. Derpy bottom ladder. Oh, I canceled it. I got rid of the little crazy side thing. <laughs> I really got to, you know what, I'm, I'm totally out of the habit of using shift. And actually someone called me out for not using uh, hotkeys and I'm, I'm bad for that in general when I play games. I really should, I just don't. I'm a slacker. Sleep wheat. I said sleep wheat. Yep. Uh, well, we need a little bit of food. We're at almost 12,000. It's not that bad off. We only have like eight duplicates, so that's more than a day's supply at least. Did I say frost wheat? I meant sleep wheat. Or was it frosted mini wheats? Mmm, mini wheats. Well, they've started digging in here a little. So, okay, so what I'm thinking for this general space over here is we're going to need something to capture the gas. But we also have to try to keep the gas from busting out. If I let too much CO2 in here, then it might block the gas flow coming in. So, kind of what I'm thinking is um, if, we, if we go with... Where is it here? Plumbing. Do I have it unlocked? I do. So if we have a gas pump that sits like up here, this is gonna be really hard to build actually. So I, what I might do is, oh gosh, I can't remember where the where the natural gas settles out in terms of the different uh, the different gas levels. Uh, but if we put like a gas pump here, and then down at the bottom in our power generation, uh, we're gonna need the natural gas generators. And I'm thinking of using like two of them and having a tile system underneath them because these things release um, uh, polluted water. So we're gonna need to do that and then we'll like undercut this whole area under here and let it drain out this way. So we can get the uh, we can get the liquid to kind of flow out. Now the challenge is gonna just, is really just gonna be that that might let gases out also, but this is gonna build up uh, CO2 in this space and I don't want the CO2 necessarily in there. I just want, I just want the natural gas power. And I can I can probably pump the, the CO2 out down to our scrubber that we'll have set up down here, so we can kind of scrub it away. And I think that will probably work out pretty well. But that's that's going to be the general plan anyway when we when we start to get all this working. Oh, sorry, need all this digging. Give me back my digging. Dig all this out. I'm gonna cancel the floor too because we're gonna need to do a little more digging. But that's gonna be the general the general room that I have. Um, in the past, I've used a pump to try to clear out the liquid, and I could probably scrub the liquid. That would just take more power, so I don't know that I want to do that. I think I'm just going to let it flow down here into this gap down below. If I've been feeding Angel, not on this stream. Uh, she ate really well off our last stream, though, when the whole colony crashed and burned. 55 or 54 duplicates she managed to feast on. That wasn't so great. Next update is this coming Thursday, so Thursday the 24th. I'm not sure exactly in terms of like what time of day it comes out alive, uh, but it'll be the update will be out this Thursday. Really looking forward to that. Okay, so temperature modulation. I think I'm going to go with uh, filtration next. Get that research finished. You retract, you retract. Oh, goodness. You think the natural gas is fallible? How do you mean by fallible? It, does, it never runs out, if that's what you mean. It, it produces a really consistent power supply. Of course, mind you, I... You know, ultimately need to feed that power out somewhere, but that's a minor technicality. Yeah, she had a food coma for like fifty days. <laughs> yeah, probably that was a lot of a lot of duplicates. Fertilizer makes natural gas. Yep, that's an option also. But we have a gas geyser right here, so I figured why not tap into it. The trick will just be that this gas geyser that's here is going to produce a lot. So trying to control that gas and not having it flood my base is going to be interesting. At least it used to produce a ton. I don't know. So there's five kilograms worth of gas in here. It's actually not that bad. We'll see. We'll get this all dug out in here, and this is going to be the space I'm going to try to manage it in. And then I have a triple a triple thick door here, which I'm hoping will help hold. Also, <laughs> no guarantees though. I'm not I'm not positive that's going to work. Well, the geysers actually are really handy. So I mean, with the water, actually in the new the new update, uh, they have a tool that 
will allow you to help cool liquids. So you'll be able to transfer the heat from the hot liquid to a different liquid pool. Uh, so you can try to cool the, st the liquid you're getting from the geysers, and that would be really handy. Rather than trying to do all these crazy things like flushing it into the cold biomes and then trying to manage it from there and what have you, uh, we'll actually get to a place where we can more directly cool it, which would be great. Yeah, the next stream I'll be doing will be on Thursday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll be playing the new update for Oxygen Not Included. Uh, so normally I haven't been streaming uh, Oxygen Not Included twice in one week. Uh, this week will be the exception. All right, we're getting a decent amount of stuff dug out here. Let's get some more dug down. Actually, I'm going to dig across there, too. I need to... I want to have a, a decent sized space I can work with here. I'm probably going to wind up having a certain amount of gas leak out of here, but I'm hoping the triple airlock door will help. Yeah, the geysers are pretty awesome. They, they produce, like, crazy amounts of stuff. It's pretty handy that way. Um, the power system I'm going to need to figure out in here, too, because this isn't really set up for a good power distribution yet. Yeah, I could use the I could use the door glitch, but I don't know if it works with triple wide doors. I, I'm, I'm actually quite certain that it, it may not. Um, the issue with the gas geyser is that it builds up so much pressure it will actually breach the door, even if you're not opening it. So if you only have a single door thickness, it, it has a chance to break it. And I don't really want it to, to blow out the door on me. Which is kind of why, why I went with the triple door. Okay, so I'm going to use mesh tile in here for the flooring so we can let liquids pass through it. Oh, gosh, we're going to need to clean up this mess. Hold on, maybe I should clean that up first. Um, where can I store all the wonderful slime that's in here? Oh, I forgot I sent somebody over here digging. <laughs> I was uh, heading over to this other cold biome before I decided to cut into the one down below and I forgot I sent them over there. Uh, so we're going to need some place to store the slime. I guess I might as well just keep it in the same area. You know what, let's dig this down a little bit farther. We'll make, I'm gonna need to dig down here anyway in order to cut open into this space here. So we might as well do it now. We'll get all this dug out. See if we can get somebody, whatever, one of our little duplicates to fall in the hole. <laughs> Take the plunge down, you'll be hanging out with the puffs or something. Food shortage, food shortage. Oh, we're down to 1,900 kilocalories. That's interesting. Oh, I don't think they can reach the water that's over here. That's not great. All right, let's build a ladder down here. Let's go like so. That way they can reach it. I should set a priority on that because the food is going to be pretty important. We'll get them to tackle that first. That water supply is actually not that great either. That's going to run out. I have another one up here kind of inconveniently placed. Uh, I don't have an easy way to get it. I guess I could try and drop it straight down the stairwell and get a pool of water down here, maybe. That might work. Tempting fate uh, by being curious if Cryptic will touch the SS-13. What's the SS-13? <laughs> more food. I know, we need to make more food. But we need more water, so now that they have access to the water, they should be able to continue making that. I don't really like that I'm using the water to produce food. I really need to get some actual other food going here. If I get this stuff going, uh, it's at 42%, so we've got a little, wise, little ways to wait for that. Do we have more seeds? Oh, we have one. Woo, go us. One seed. Ladders are the ultimate fix for everything. I agree. The nice thing is you can build them both as like ways to get up and down and flooring and everything else, so it works out well. Uh, okay, so... I'm going to need some sort of storage container here to put slime in, so let's just put a quick little mesh tile here. And we can build a storage container on it. And we'll use that to uh, clean up some of this slime that's making all this toxic wonderfulness down here. Using your iPad to watch and using phone to talk and chat. Oh, that's interesting. Zero kilocalories? No, we're okay. We got a little bit. They can bounce around zero. It's fine. I mean, they're just they're just going on the low calorie diet. Then it's not like they're they're stuck with you know zero food consumption or something. Uh, we'll put slime in here so we can get that cleaned up off the floor, and then I'm gonna sweep this mess. Or I could mop it. Let's just sweep it instead. There we go. Well, they got all that dug out nice and quick, so I'm, I'm wondering if maybe I should just let the water pool and run down there, because I don't really want to pump it. 
Oh, there's a steam geyser. Again, not really conveniently placed. This particular spawn for my colony isn't really giving me really good placement of things. Normally, I like my cold biomes off to the side rather than down below so that I have easy access to those. It's not really working out great, though. Space Station 13, a game about doing your job, not dying, and getting on, getting on the shuttle not uh, when it arrives. All in the station held together by pure rage and filled with actual people who might murder you. Oh, murderize you. That sounds interesting. <laughs> Steam Geyser, I know, right? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I guess if you use the iPad, you would get a bigger screen. I can't wait for the update to come out on Thursday. I'm really looking forward to playing that. I feel like I've been waiting for it forever. <laughs> That's still a YouTuber. He's only slightly better than the guy on Twitch. <laughs> We're on both. We got it all covered. Uh, all right, right, let's. Uh, I've got plenty of space here now. I guess I can do just, just do my tile all the way across now. That'll let them reach some of the stuff I have up here. Where is the delay? Well, there's a... The, yeah, the delay is significantly better on Twitch. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> on, on YouTube, I don't know what the deal is with YouTube. Something about the way that they process it. It does result in a little bit more delay between when I do something and when you ultimately see it. Oh, we got an entombed bed up here. That's weird. Should probably dig that out so someone won't sleep on the floor. Hey, we've got a crop of mealwood. Hooray. Uh, we have enough probably to replant some of those when, they've got, when they get through all three of the harvests. Uh, so that is good. I'm surprised they're just leaving it on the ground there. I have these boxes set at like seven, I think. So they should kind of... You know what? Actually, now that I destroyed the other box, I can change the priority on these down to six. I don't want them to, to prioritize food collection over something that's really important. On Twitch, it's about five or ten seconds. So that's pretty good. Can I have my babies? No, sorry. My babies are already not babies. I have a four-year-old and a nine-year-old, so I'm afraid that we're past that point. Where's the bleachstone, please? A bleachstone can be found uh, where there's chlorine gas. Um, that's all granite. I don't know if we'll be able to see any yet because they haven't expanded out that far. Uh, bleachstone, there you go. So look for the chlorine gas and then look for the white bleachstone. Now the thing is, you don't really need it. Your duplicates can take a shower and they'll get rid of that same dirt that's causing them stress without having to use the bleachstone. When you use the bleachstone, you have to deal with the chlorine gas and it's really not necessary. In the update that's coming out on Thursday, they'll have these little hand-washing stations that you can use to, to wash your hands when the, your duplicates go to the bathroom, so they'll finally be sanitary. <laughs> uh, and then that's even less need for the uh, um, for those uh, little sanitation things. I'm not even sure if those are going to stay around or if they're going to just clear them out. Can you have a shout-out? I don't shout too much, sorry. We can make one. <laughs> Uh, this is a family-friendly, uh, Crab Guts. Uh, family-friendly. And my wife might object, too. Uh, okay. I think maybe we'll go with, uh... Duh, 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 power, pressure... Uh, it doesn't really matter. I guess we'll do power, pressure management. Get some of those fancy doors that open and close a little bit quicker. That'll be good. I can't believe they're not picking this stuff up already. Store my goods! Store my goods good. Delay for YouTube is about 10 seconds. That's actually pretty good. I did set it at a low latency, and I have been doing that lately, so hoping that the chat would be closer to, to when I do stuff ultimately. It got really bad for a while when I was streaming. It was something like like 45 seconds was the delay. It was crazy. People would be telling me to do stuff, and I'd already done it <laughs> like a long time ago. But fortunately now it's actually it's, it's at that point where it's a little bit better now that I'm choosing to use a low latency stream. Okay, I kind of want these guys to build this thing, and they're all running around doing other things. I mean, important things. They're producing power and all, which is good. That takes two of them. They're producing food. That's a third. And their research is the fourth. That's half of them already. Just doing other important deeds. Uh, we have 17,000 kilocalories. I'm going to turn this off for now so we don't use up the rest of that water just yet. And I think we can run off the mealwood now for at least a little bit. It's going to run out, but for now, we can have a little bit of mealwood. That'll be good. And they're back to sleep again. These guys sleep, like, every night. Man. Slackers. How's our air doing? Air is in good shape. Actually, this uh, this one up here I can probably turn off. We'll disable that one for now. We'll save a little bit of the algae, and we'll just run off of one algae deoxidizer, and hopefully that will be enough with the amount of pressure we have in here. I'll find out soon enough. It's actually not that strong down here. But I also ha I don't have as much uh, gas permeable tile over here. 
We'll see. I do have to watch that I don't let the pressure drop, otherwise the plants will starve for pressure and down they'll go. This isn't Dose Starve, there's no Charlie. Well, hello in Spain. I love Spain. I got a chance to go there for a week once. I spent a week in Barcelona. That was pretty cool. It was very nice. Let's go for the natural gas geyser. That's the plan. It's right here. We're kind of setting up the, the infrastructure down here that we're going to need. So, how am I going to block this thing in? That will be the trick. So, we're going to need... Well, let's go for the power here. Now, again, I can't remember whether the, the natural gas is going to be heavier or lighter. No, actually, I want to get these kind of bunched over a little bit to the side. So, a little bit over this way. And I'm going to build the ladder over here to try to get some height up here so we can get up close to this geyser. I probably need a ladder here also because we're going to need to do some fancy tile work in here. I'm going to tile it off like this. Assuming they can reach it. And then I'm going to have to probably put a second or third layer of tile there also because apparently the gas geyser, if you if you don't if you don't use multiple layers of tile, will bust through on you. And I don't really want all that gas everywhere. Am I going to do it a guide on the next update? That's the plan. Uh, I'm going to want to play with it a little bit so I can get a sense of how it works because I don't want the guide to really suck. <laughs> so it might not come out right away, but I'm going to I'll probably redo the uh, the first 10 days guide that I did uh, because some of that's going to change with the, with the new update. And then we'll see if there's other things that I want to kind of play around with and make some guides for also. Natural gas is heavy, but not as heavy as CO2. Okay, well, that's good. So at least the CO, the CO2 that builds up inside of here will actually keep the natural gas trapped up here to a degree. Which is okay. I'm not, not unhappy about that at all. Heavier than polluted oxygen. Okay. Try a liquid lock? Uh, yeah, we could do that too. But then every time they go in and out of the liquid, they get upset. And I like having really low stress. The way it is now, um, I'm, I'm basically not even having to manage it. And I kind of like that. Drain hole needs to be wider. Yeah, I could make that bigger. We'll get down here. It doesn't really need to be that wide because the liquids will pass right, pass right through this mesh tile. It's really just down here we want it to flow. But you're right, it will create a little gap here where it will block it off. Uh, it'll stretch across that gap and then it will stop flowing probably. Can you use chlorine to sanitize a room or area? Yes, you can. So um, if you have a room that's full of germs in the new update and you need to get rid of those germs, you can pump chlorine gas in there and it will sanitize it. You can do the same thing currently with like the food, the ration boxes. You can build a chlorine room, and then your duplicates just hold their breath every time they go in and out. But uh, but yeah, that will that will be one mechanism you can use to clean things up. Uh, down here, I intended to build my uh, my CO2 scrubber. Pressure is working okay to kind of hold things down here, but there's actually a fair amount of carbon dioxide built up just underneath this little pocket here. I'm surprised it's not pushing it down farther, but. I think it's because the air, the um, the way the pressure gradient is, it's kind of going this way. It's getting um, getting stronger as it goes this way, and it kind of pushes this gas into this corner. I kind of need a higher gas pressure up here to force it down, but I guess I shouldn't worry about that too much. Uh, what's going to happen with the decor you already have when the update comes out? Was it will it just stop working? With the decor you already have. Um, well, this this colony, I'm, I'm not even going to continue playing with a new one. I'm going to want to run a new one so we make sure we get to take advantage of all the new features that are in the update. So we'll just start a whole brand new colony again. They're supposed to be changing stuff around, ultimately. They don't like the, the way that people just spam pictures everywhere in order to try to manage the decor. So I'm not sure what those changes are going to consist of. I do know they've added some new paintings in so your guys can paint other pictures than just the little Mona Lisa. and they, They're pretty awesome. <laughs> um... But I don't know what the ultimate plan is there. Okay. So, I'm going to do a double layer here of the flooring. I guess I should probably consider doing a double layer. Well, I'd like to do like a double layer of the door, but I don't think I can do that actually because they won't jump up high enough. It's no good. Hey, Biga. Hey, Cryptic. I watched, uh, watched your same live stream the other night. R.I.P. My husband and I are betting on my tune to make it to the last dupe. She made it 25th. Well, we never really found out what the last dupe was. <laughs> the uh, the game crashed on me when we got down to like four or five. So it's kind of, there was like four or five duplicates left, and I didn't get to see who the last one was. But, yeah, that was fun. I get such a kick out of this game. I don't know why. I just find it really entertaining. Um, okay, I'm going to dig across here, I guess. 
so we can do some extra tiling. Uh, actually, I don't really need to go that far. I can probably stop over here. I'll just do a second layer of tile in here. Um, hopefully this won't cause the gas to break through because that's only a, a couple blocks thick. Uh, so I gotta be a little bit careful with that at least. We're gonna need some power connections out of here. So let's set up our electrical wiring. Uh, and I can probably just run it right through here to the bottom actually now that I think of it. Um, I guess I can dig, I'll dig through right here. We'll build a another little ladder over here just so I have something to step on. We can feed it right into the batteries, I guess. Actually, is that even going to work? Um, no. Maybe I'll do a... Instead of doing this ladder here, I'm going to do a tile floor here instead. I think I need three blocks wide for the transformer. So I probably should put a transformer down here. Uh, I'm not going to cut through this just, just yet because I'm going to end up getting polluted oxygen everywhere if I do that. So let's dig through here. We'll get that set up. We've got a plan for the game after the update. Uh, aside from like starting a new colony, um, this coming Thursday, we're going to do the stream at 10 p.m. Eastern time so we can play the new colony that comes out. Or the, sorry, the new content that comes out. Uh, we'll start a new colony then. So I'll definitely be doing that. Uh, but I don't have uh, a specific plan for what I'm going to do in that colony aside from just building it up and running it the way I kind of normally do. Um, let's do a wall here. Actually, I should probably try and destroy some gas. I'm going to do a wall in this whole thing. Slime Rancher. I just started playing that. I've actually been having a little bit of fun with it. Although I can see some people groaning at my uh, my ineptitude because I, <laughs> I'm not really familiar with the game, so I'm kind of learning it as I go. PO2 release PO2. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's it's not going to gush out there. Worst case scenario, I can just clean it up anyway. What other games do I play? Um, that's a good question. So I've kind of got a few on the go right now. I've been playing uh, Don't Starve, Oxygen Not Included, uh, Slime Rancher. Uh, I just picked up the Escapist 2 that I want to play, but I haven't started into that just yet. Um, gosh, what else do I have going on? I don't even know. <laughs> uh, Subnautica. Uh, some other random games that I just played like little one-off games of. I'm not entirely sure what... Uh, I'd have to go back and look at my list. <laughs> Off the top of my head, I can't think of what else I'm playing right now. Oh, Conan Exiles I've been playing a little bit of. Uh, but I haven't started uh, I haven't started with any videos of that just yet. Uh, okay, so I'm going to run the wire through here now. Uh, we'll send these down and across so we can send them out into this space. And then I can make use of the power from them. That will be good. The Quantum Crystal Largo. See, I don't even know all the different all the different slimes that are in that thing. <laughs> I just kind of like... Oh, yeah, my second job. I can't forget that. I've also been playing uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, which I've just kind of been slightly addicted with lately. Man, how can I forget that one? I'm getting close to getting the paint bay unlocked, so I can finally still, like totally rework my cars, which would be good. All the mechanical stuff I could do, but, and I can repair body panels, but I, then my car has got like that two-tone color look because I can't paint it yet. But, like, two more levels, and I've got that unlocked, and I can finally do some paint jobs. And then we'll, we'll really start into doing some, uh, some body work. Why did I do that? Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's deconstruct buildings. Get rid of this. The double wall I plan to put on this side. Not on that side. Because I'm going to need three wide, I think, for the transformer to go there. You lost mod, notice me, please. Uh, I, oh, Fortnite I've been playing. That's right. Man, i got so much on the go, my brain doesn't even work anymore. <laughs> you know, it's funny. When I'm thinking about what I'm going to play, I go back and look at my uh, look at my own list of stuff and go, oh, yeah, I've got to play some more of that. I need to like build out a schedule or something, but I, I have a terrible time keeping up with one. Mostly I end up balancing like work and, uh, work and family life, and then I try to fit in as many videos as I can around that. Okay, so we've got our... our uh, gas generator set up here. Uh, we're going to need some structure in here plumbing wise in order to send the gas in. So let's get some gas pipe ready. Uh, I'll just send it right down the ladder. I guess that probably makes the most sense. Like so. Still need more digging to be done in this area. I should probably get this out of here too. 
talked about the previous game briefly is my tune made 25th is the one who uh the one who died, uh, the game crashed he guessed it was your dude yeah <laughs> well i was guessing actually that um that it was ray yeah only because ray i had put her into um the regeneration pod and i think what was happening is she was getting damaged from from not eating but then she would just jump back in the pot again so she'd jump out pee on the floor get damaged from not having food jump back in the pot again and just repeat the cycle over and over again it was like it was like a perpetual animation machine where she just wasn't going to die. It was just going to keep her alive there forever. Oh, these guys are pooping slime all over my... Oh, drat. <laughs> I probably should have put something in here to keep those guys from getting up there. Now I've got... Oh, well, it doesn't really matter, I guess. It doesn't matter if this air stinks. Actually, if anything, it'll give me a collection of the slime for a little bit. Because they're just going to keep storing this in a storage compactor. YouTube Mobile doesn't see the chat bar as, as a play... Yeah... I don't know. I found that any time I'm trying to watch streams on mobile, whether it's on, on the Twitch app or on the YouTube app, it always just... It never seems to work out quite the way I thought it would. <laughs> and chat is definitely a challenge in those in those mediums I found. Okay, so we have... Uh, I kinda, I'm going to wind up mopping this up a little bit, but... I kind of want to cut in here, but I'm a little worried that I'm going to do this too soon. Okay, so... I was thinking about putting a door right here, but maybe I'll just plan to block this off entirely and seal it in indefinitely. Rather than worry about trying to keep the pressure okay with a door. Um, I need a ladder there so they can finish the floor there, maybe. <laughs> Why didn't murder a puff this time? Wait, we don't have... Do we have Samantha in here? No, we don't have Samantha in here, so, we'll, you know... Puff door, the destroyer isn't uh, isn't in the game, so we can't uh, we can't send her after the puffs. I'll just leave them there for now. They can keep pooping out their slime. Oh, he's gonna go up in the natural gas and probably get they're gonna get choked out by the natural gas. I bet. <laughs> Block them from getting the geyser. I'm gonna have to, but the trouble is I need the ladder, right? Like they're gonna keep they're gonna keep going up here on me. Um, they might actually leave the space when I make it a little more cramped for them. Actually, I'm gonna have to build this out gradually because these these foolish duplicates are gonna build the closest blocks first on me if I don't. Just do it one at a time. More ladders, no such thing as too many. Yeah, <laughs> I'll break down the ladders that I don't need, but I'm gonna need them at least for the short term so I can reach stuff. You're ready to be a dupe again. Puff door the destroyer. Sorry, what got fixed in the last update? Oh, you're in Australia. Okay, so it's funny. There's actually a number of different people from Australia that watch. Um, and it's actually... What, what time is it there right now? It should be... It's in the morning, right? The quantum slime door. See again, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm so new in <laughs> in uh, in Slime Rancher that I have no clue what's going on. Still, I'm like totally useless. The tile jump under a door. Oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Did no, they didn't fix it. I've I've used it recently. At least I don't think they fixed it. Unless there was a patch that came out that I wasn't paying attention to. But uh, I've used it relatively recently. I wonder how many calories. I should probably make some food. These guys are going to get hungry, and then they're going to upset at me. They're going to wind up dying. Not because of lack of food, but just because they're purely upset at me. That's what happens. I swear. Uh, I'll get my power generation going. Drown itself in a shallow puddle of polluted water. Aw, oh, poor dude looking at the... Uh, poor puffed. 3.45 a.m. 3.45 a.m., so you must be, where, somewhere in the U.K.? Portugal, 3.50 a.m. I need a life. <laughs> well, I'm glad you chose to not have a life while watching my stream. <laughs> Poland and America, that's cool. I, I've said it before on streams, but I find it really cool that I can interact with people from all over the world just by turning on and playing a game. That's so awesome. Okay, things are a little bit crowded here. Uh, see, look at that. They built the block that was closest to the ladder, and they trapped the stuff in here. Now I'm going to destroy this thing. Uh, I'm also going to need power up here, so I probably should just run the power right through the ceiling here as much as I can. Oh, yep. Derpy. There we go. Go like that. Uh, more ladders, because we need more ladders. Always with the more ladders. Um, can they reach? 
I put it up there, I think that it'll be too small of a space for them, so I'll put it right here. And then, actually, the wire's gonna kind of poke out a little bit here, but that's okay. I don't really care too much. Now I'll just run it right through here. Portugal is next to Spain. Yep. Kind of walked away. I don't think you saw what I, uh, I don't think you saw what time I said. 12:45 p.m. Oh, is that all? Oh, right, it's afternoon. Duh. What am I thinking? 12:45. Yep. So this is like I should be working, but instead I'm watching a stream kind of thing. <laughs> You're from Coinbra? Cool. Okay, so we've got some of that built up. Oh, they can't reach this stuff in the middle again. I'm going to have to do like a whole scaffolding of ladders here. This actually... I don't even know if they can use the ladders if I put them there. Let's find out. Are they going to climb up the ladders and, make, and build this wire? Or am I going to have a total big mess here where they can't actually do what I want? <laughs> Show me the goods. Oh, they can use it. Okay, good. I wasn't sure whether they would climb on the ladder or whether they would try to walk on the top of it, because sometimes they do silly things that way. Stay at home, mum. Younger daughter sitting there. Oh, that's cool. Hello, younger daughter. Uh, we need another tile on the end. And then we're going to need a little bit more headroom here, otherwise we're not going to be able to climb up here. We need some max headroom. A little throwback to the 80s for you. Okay. How's our duct work? Okay, so the, the real challenge here is going to be that I'm going to have to dig into this thing before I'm ready to even put the pumps in place because I need to clear out the space around it. Which is going to let a certain amount of natural gas out here. And natural gas is heavier than polluted oxygen, so it's going to fall. I wonder if I can be really mean to these guys, and I'll send them up here. We'll just destroy this thing. We'll deconstruct the top step of the ladder. They'll climb up here and jump in, and I'll block them in with a tile. And then get them to start digging. No, that's not going to work, because they won't have the materials to make the pump. Huh. What's my angle here? Uh, my angle is, um, down here I've got, uh, I've got the natural gas generators. So what I'm going to do is put a gas pump up here, and pump the gas down into this lower space to feed into the natural gas generators. Which can then send the power out this way into transformers, which will send it to the batteries. And then I can use uh, more lines to send more transformers upwards so we can have a second power grid up towards the upper level. These produce um, carbon dioxide, which will be released into the air here and kind of start to fill up all this space. It will also release uh, polluted uh, water, which will drop through this mesh tile floor and just drain down below. I can't really use the door glitch. Um, because if, from what I understand, the pressure from the natural gas will build up to such a degree it will actually break the door. So I did a triple door just to try to have that that pressure control. Uh, I mean, maybe maybe that doesn't that doesn't happen anymore and it won't break the door anymore. But I, I kind of didn't want to test it. <laughs> uh, I have researched the other doors. I think yeah, I probably have the yeah I have them now. So I'd have to break out these doors. Well, let's do that now, I guess. Let's deconstruct buildings. We'll get rid of these two doors. We'll put in the faster doors. And then I'll just have to watch it. I don't, I don't run any wiring through them. Because I hate powering the doors. Unless I'm trying to seal off an area where I don't want duplicates to go into a given area. I hate powering the door because it seems like it's such a waste of power. Won't you burn out warrant normal wire? No. So, okay. So it's funny how it works. Um, you can produce and send as much power as you want to into any level of wire. So... These small wires, you can send all the power from uh, from multiple generators, whether you're... Oh, look at all the polluted area light in there. <laughs> uh, that didn't work so good. Great. Oh, we got a puffed in here. Man, those things are sneaky. He got out there quick. Uh, we're going to need to clean up the air that's in here. <laughs> I should have left the doors alone. That's what I should have done. Um, we'll put a couple in here just to try to clean up the air a little bit. That stinks. Literally. It's going good, Karma. Thank you. How are you? Pretty significant CO2 buildup. Yeah, it's getting there. And actually, what's going on here? Why isn't this running? I ran out of algae. Well, ain't that a thing. All right, let's dig out the algae over here. 
I'm in such a rush to get power, I didn't really get around to building my normal oxygen supply system, and I probably should have. You know, because breathing is sort of a necessity. Uh, but we should be able to find uh, some pockets of algae around here. Oh yeah, there's still some up here too. We can send some duplicates up here. We'll dig all this junk out. Unfortunately, this is going to dig up some slime. But we already let some polluted oxygen in anyway, so I guess it's not that big a deal. Let's just get all this out of here. Dig it all! I kind of want to get up here too, but this water is going to be an issue for me. Until I create a system where I can just dump it straight down the ladder and get it, get it to pool down here, then I don't really want to cut into that too soon. There's actually a big pocket of algae down here, too. Alright, um, they dug that out, so that's good. We'll get some airflow going in. Yep, so we have some oxygen there. These will also, the air deodorizers, will turn some of that polluted oxygen into clean oxygen for me. So, oddly enough, letting some stinky air in was probably useful. I think they'll add fire into the, uh, which can interact with surroundings so machines could overheat in that environment. So I've already seen this machines explode, apparently. So apparently if you, if you get them heated up to the point where they hit their melting point, the machine will explode and it can kill off your duplicates if they're standing next to it. I've never done it myself, but... Senpei didn't notice who. Let's see if there's someone... Can you build the pump room and infrastructure before breaking into the gas geyser? Well, that's the idea. I mean, so the, the thing is... I guess I can kind of dig over here and maybe put the pump on this side, and that might help. I want to delay getting into the gas geyser as, as long as possible. The trouble is going to be that if I get down to a point where there's only a single layer between the gas geyser and the outer layer, outer area, it's probably going to break through. But I can probably put the pump right here, I think. But I'm also going to want to have some sort of a filter. So let's um, let's hold on, let's figure this out. So. My gas pump, I'm going to stick here. It's going to be a little crowded. Um, I'm going to want a filter, which is going to require power. Oh, gosh. I really don't even have room for a filter. This is crazy. Um, all right. So I'll go this way. I'm going to send the gas pipe down here. Oh, gosh. This is not, this is not a good setup right here. It's really crowded. I just don't have room to, to really do a whole lot of... A whole lot of setup. Maybe what I'll do is I'm going to I'm gonna build more ladder in here because, you know, who, we always need more ladder. I'll build a ladder, like, right up here. We'll put the gas pump up a little bit higher. <laughs> Beloved mole people. You can put a door and it will work. Uh, yeah, all right, we can try a door, I guess. So, I mean, there's always a certain amount that gets through the doors. And from what I understand, the doors will break, but we'll give it a whirl anyway. This water over here is going to be an issue, too. At some point, that might break and just gush everywhere. I should probably break this early. We'll get the water drained out of here. And actually, there's tons of algae over here. I should go grab that. We'll just let that drain down. Just dig this whole thing out. And that will let me tap into here. We'll get some algae to this space. Man, lots of algae down here, too. At least I don't have plenty of places to go looking for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm letting it, I'll let it drain. The, the tricky part is going to be that there's a fair amount of water up here. And we're going to add more water when we start running these. So I just have to watch that we don't let it overflow too much. But I think when it fills up to this point, it'll run down here. So I think we've got plenty of room. Plenty of space. Uh, I'll build the door in this space right here, I guess. Actually, I should probably just build a ladder over here. We'll get all this stuff. All this good stuff. Take the whole works out. We'll just let all the water flow. There's a lot of stinky air in here, too. I could probably clean some of the air that's up in here, but I uh, don't really need to bother, I guess. Okay, so I'll put the pump over here, and then uh, I'll be I'll, this will give me enough room that I can have the, fil the gas filter on here, because I don't want to send polluted oxygen down into these machines or it'll damage them. We want to make sure that it's just getting the natural gas. Uh, what's the game you're most looking for? The, well, I'm looking for the most this year. That's a good question. I actually don't know. I keep hunting for games, and I need to start building a list somewhere, like writing it on my walls or something, because half the time I look at a game that looks really interesting that I think I might want to play, and then I forget it. What happened over here? 
Oh, man, did I make a mess. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. I was so busy paying attention over there. I've just pretty much polluted my entire base. Uh, now, fortunately, this, this water is, or this, uh, this polluted air is breathable. But, man, um, these guys are probably not super happy with me just now. Let's get a little... We'll do some air purifiers, one on each floor. That'll actually convert some of it into oxygen, which will kind of help in the long run. Uh, let's take another one down here. We have a little bit of cleanup to do, though. Mop this. Mop down here. Mop over this. <laughs> I created, like, a veritable stinky river. Look at it. Oh, and the puffed is... Oh, okay, this, this puffed has got to go. <laughs> He's now pooping in our bedroom. That, okay, I hate killing off the puffs because they actually have a use in the game. However, we're going to have to take care of it. Caitlyn the Whiner can kill off the puff because she's got the best combat skills, so we'll send Caitlyn after the puffed. Sorry, Caitlyn, you're our official puff killer this, this time around. Getting addicted to car mechanic. <laughs> that is a fun game. I don't know what it is about that game, uh, but I really, I really enjoy it. Do you turn your sensitivity for that game way up? Your mouse is so smooth. No, the... The funny thing with um, with the car mechanic simulators, I actually found the I find the mouse a little bit laggy, so I tend to move it just a little bit more slowly in order to avoid doing something crazy. But yeah, I said kill a puffed. It's pooping in our bedroom, and that's just not acceptable to me. So we sent Caitlyn after the puffed. Actually, did she kill it already? I don't even see it. It was like insta death, or did the puffed run away? No, she must have got it. I wasn't watching. I was reading the chat. <laughs> I missed the puff killing. Drat. Okay, this is just... This is disgusting. I need to get all this mess cleaned out of here. Oh, great. Now people have the spores. Now, fortunately, there's no there's no real consequences to being ill yet. But with the update on Thursday, of course, that will change. Being ill will be a rather unfavorable scenario. It's just banished. It can be really tough. Uh, I haven't seen Banished. What's that about? When do you think they can build it up on Xbox One? I'm not sure. They haven't really said anything about releasing to Xbox One, in part because it's still in, in early access. They're still building it. I have a feeling it will end up there because Don't Starve ported it over to the console, but they haven't uh, they haven't given it any indication for this yet. There's apparently more story that's built into this game also. It's just such an early release still that... Um, that they haven't really gotten to that point yet, and they're keeping the story close to their chest until they're ready to, to reveal it. So I'm, I'm super curious about that. There's going to be apparently a cartoon, um, I don't know, a little cartoon video or something that comes out with the release on Thursday also that I'm looking forward to. I can't wait for Thursday. <laughs> I just want Thursday to be here now. Uh, Escapist 1 and 2. Um, I, I just downloaded actually the Escapist 2. It just came, uh, I don't know, yesterday I think it, it went live, so I, I just downloaded that. I haven't had a chance to play it and try it out yet, though. That's right. Pierce that puff for potentially pooping. Go with the all the, all the p words. Get a little more a little more air cleaning going on down here. I am going to need a CO2 scrubber at some point. If this air if this air uh, algae deoxidizer stops producing oxygen, the CO2 we have built up down here is going to kind of expand outwards and it's going to fill up some of our base, and that's going to be a problem. So I probably should deal with my air sooner rather than later. Hatch is eating my bush bars. Is he? I don't know. They're, I have them set at a pretty high priority, but I guess it's priority six. It's the daytime, and he's not sleeping over here. I don't understand why he didn't burrow. Oh, he did eat. He's only eating part of it or something. It's like he's stealing some of the calories, but not all. It's so weird. All right. Let's clean up the air. Let's get all these things going. Actually, these ones aren't even doing anything now. It's sitting in clean air. Still need to mop here. We're almost cleaned up. Oh, we need to mop down here, too. I hate making a mess. Cleanup is terrible. <laughs> the hatch deserves death for the acts of stealing our mush bars. Die, hatch, die. Uh, yeah, I've heard RimWorld's an excellent game as well. It's a little bit on the older side. I'm, I'm kind of... Um, I've kind of been on the hunt for games that are interesting that I want to play, but also games that uh, people are still looking to for, for new content on. So, I don't know. We'll see. Only to see there's a stream happening. This is a good day. Well, welcome to the stream. Send the hatch down to the gas chamber for eating the puff poop. <laughs> that, would be, uh, that would be interesting. 
Except that I probably need the slime a little bit more than I need um, than I need coal right now. Well, I mean less, well less right now, I guess, because I haven't, I don't have anything to convert the slime into into algae. But all right, one more oxygen thing. I'm going through a lot of sand here, but we're gonna put one more oxygen air scrubber thing up here so that when they're going in and out of this door, they're not constantly letting polluted air in. And we'll set that to priority six. We'll convert so we can get all that air converted up here, and then if we can get rid of this polluted water here. I think we'll be good. Is that even? Yeah, yeah. They can't reach that. What? It's Greedo. Like they can't reach it, but they have a ladder like right there. Maybe they have to actually mop it from above. That's weird. Uh, Jack, it wasn't me that slayed the puff. It was Caitlin. It was all Caitlin. Cool koala games and vlogs. Please shout me out. Sorry, I don't do shoutouts. But it did say your name, so I guess it's kind of like a shoutout. Too, too hip to play a game that's older than a week. That's not true. This game's older than a week. So's, uh, so's Don't Starve and a variety of other games that I play. Ah, oh, so close. Get me the algaes. If I can just get this finished off in here. Get our little gas chamber going. It sounds cruel in some way, but... Yeah, Caitlyn's the, the slayer of small defenseless creatures. It wasn't me. And besides, the puffs are evil. They've got this horrible plan to take over the colony, along with the with the hatch overlords, and that's how it is. <laughs> Need more duplicates? Uh, we've got eight. I'm kind of happy with the balance right now. We're just well, our, our food is building up a little bit, but mostly because we're getting. Uh, actually, I can turn this off. Let's save some water. Um. Uh, we're getting some harvest of mealwood right now, but that's going to go away, and we're not really at a point yet where we have enough sleep wheat growing to do something useful with it. Um, so I need a little bit more of that. Actually, they didn't ever get this for me. Click that stuff up. Can we plant it? No, we can't. It took root again. Ah. That's what I get for not paying attention. Look at that. They're prioritizing coming over here to dig up the sleep wheat instead of digging over here. Oh, they're already finished there. Uh, before this can break on me, I should probably break it. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but if it breaks on its own, I don't think I get to recover the, the algae that's there, and I kind of want the algae. Holy, this puff can go way up here. Once we cut through here, maybe he'll fly away on his own. That'd be nice. I'm like, get out of here! 20 or 30 more. <laughs> we had 50 some odd in the in the last uh, the last colony. I think I was it's more than enough for the high the high duplicates for me. High duplicate counts, I should say. They're not technically high, but. See a YouTuber that I love uh, play Life is Feudal, and it isn't for me. Yeah, well, the, the thing with the games is there's always going to be people that get attracted to different types of games. For some people, they're, they're actually really enjoying the Car Mechanic series, and other people, maybe not as much. So I try to play a bit of a variety. Uh, and so you're definitely going to pull in different people with different games, I think, ultimately. All right, I'm going to get this over here, and then I'm going to start getting all of this stuff kind of sealed off so that we're ready to run over here. So, build our first wall here. I'm going to do the double thick again because I, I, I don't want it to go you know, like that. And then here we'll put a mechanized airlock like that. There. So we'll get that taken care of. And then it'll give me something I can lock also. So hopefully they don't keep running up there. Open the floodgates. That was a pretty good flood that went down there, actually. Oh, look at that. I built a wall there, and now it's adhering. Uh, let's get rid of some of that. I can't. There we go. Mop that part, though. With the new update, too, they're going to get rid of this liquid destruction. So, like, um, the way it is now, when you mop, you got that, like, destruction of volume. Okay, let's cancel that. It's not sticking anymore. Uh, you kind of get that destruction of volume, and that's not going to happen anymore with the new update. Instead, they create these little water bottles. Oops. Nope. Dig. Dig is what I want. A little step ladder there. Um, they create these little water bottles, and then there's this little building you can make where you can empty the bottles. So you'll have bottles of clean water and bottles of polluted water, and you can set them up in a way that they can kind of dump the bottles out, which is kind of interesting. I have two puffs again. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Do I have them in the base here? Oh no, they flew up. It flew up top. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, perfect. They can hang out up there. I'm good with that. I just don't want them down below. Build up here. Let's dig all this out. 
Take all this out. I'm going to extend this ladder up because I want this algae. And dig all this out too. Oh my gosh, so much good algae in this area. We can still continue to have oxygen for a while. Yes! <laughs> I haven't built another another oxygen pump set up yet, so I'm going to I'll have to tackle that maybe. Actually, I might not even need to by the time we get through this. My stress is high, 49%. Well, we have a massage table. This is set to go off. When they get to 50, they'll jump on the massage table. So it's probably only one person. No, a couple of people are high. That's interesting. I wonder if it's because they've been living in this stinky air down here. I'm going to use another air deodorizer over here. Clean up that air. And then once this largely gets cleaned up, I can actually destroy some of these ones that I made. Like, I don't need this one here anymore. You can strike that. We'll just save the sand because this is just kind of going to waste over here. These ones I'll leave just in case we still get... There's still some polluted air down here. Oh, we've got polluted water sitting on top of my food storage too. I wonder if that makes it spoil even though it's refrigerated. Yeah, I'm super excited for the next uh, the next update too. I like, I like that each time they've added something in, it's added a different level of complexity you have to deal with. Like, I remember when they were first building in the, the temperature change, or where, where uh, temperature was a big factor, that was actually tough to manage for a little bit until I kind of got the hang of it. And granted, they tweaked it down a little bit, so it wasn't quite as intense, but, you know, you just kind of had to start building a little differently, considering what kind of heat output you were getting from different buildings. Stash table now. Yeah, I probably should. Eh, we'll set it at 9, so they set it. At, they tick that priority above everything else. It's getting really close to that point where people are going to start using it, which is going to draw on more power, which is going to cause new problems. But we are almost finished our research, too, so if we can get this insulation, get all that research done, then we can destroy our supercomputer and research station, and that'll save some power also. All okay, right, we're getting close over here. Um... Uh, Build a wall here. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll build the wall up this way. We're going to leave the dirt at the top here, or the slimy junk at the top, I guess. There's a certain amount of water collected in here also. I'm just going to let that sit. And actually, the water that's in here might even protect the, might protect the door here against the gas pressures. Depending on how it ends up falling. We'll see. Okay, so that's built. Uh, we need a little bit more tile up here. And then we should have a decent amount of pressure control on that side. In here, we're going to need our pump. And then we can do our gas filter. Uh, let's spin this around. How do I want this? Uh, I guess I can go like this. little piping in here and then this one here I'm going to set up to be our pipe for natural gas and then this bottom one um where should I put this thing eh whatever let's stick it over here put a little vent on it we'll send everything else out that way don't forget sleet wheat sleet wheat thank you for reminding me let's plant that uh, copy settings. No. Plant. Now copy settings. So we got a little bit more sleep wheat there. Uh, and if I build a ladder down here, they can probably get some more of it too. Go get the sleet wheats. We're still... Oh, I should dig this up here too. It's still at that point where we're not going to get a ton out of it, but... Oh, this is going to be good. Okay, so what will happen here, though, is the CO2 is all going to go up to here, and it's going to kind of choke out our <laughs> choke out our, our poor uh, our poor puffs up here. But I don't think we'll have to deal with that. It is what it is. Natural gas sinks. You should set your pump lower. Oh, it does. You're right. Well, yeah, because natural gas is going to be heavier than the polluted air. Ah, drat. Well, it'll fill up this whole space. And so what I'm going to do is actually set a pressure, pre pressure switch in here. Ah, drat. See, space is just so crowded in here. And they already built it all. Eh, whatever. I'll leave it the way it is. We'll put a pressure switch in so that when the pressure builds up enough. Oh, no. I'm going to end up with more polluted oxygen down here. You're right. Ah, drat. Bah. All right. 
blah. All right, we're gonna deconstruct all this. Get it all. I'm gonna rebuild it. It's probably better to do it right the first time. So I'll, I'll set the pump down low and then I'll send the gas upwards instead of down. That'll be fine. Okay, so let's grab our gas pump. We'll put it down low over here. And then, for whatever reason, they didn't destroy this. Let's, oh, okay, they got it. Okay, uh, let's get our gas filter, and we'll put it up this way. Actually, are they going to be able to reach that? Yeah, I think it reached that from the ladder. So we'll go like this. Set that there, and we'll connect it with this pipe, which I can't reach. Blah. Hold on. Gas vent over here. Connect that with the pipe, like so. Uh, this one can come out and go down that way, and then this one will go into the pump. There we go. Okay, so that's better. We're gonna need the electrical wiring run in here also, which I still haven't done yet, so we'll send that over and up here, and then also up to here. And I gotta put a pressure control switch on here, I think, too. Let's take a little Atmos switch on here. The water might might be an issue for the Atmos switch. I'm not sure how that's going to work. We'll see. Pump all of the gas into the natural gas chamber. Uh, that's probably not a bad idea, actually. Yeah, you know what? I agree. I like that idea. Uh, if I put it up this way, then I can actually send... I can send all the other gases out of this space instead. So we'll just do... Because it'll end up purifying that way, and then I'll end up with just natural gas in here, and then this thing won't really be that big of an issue. But we'll send it out this way. And we can put our vent out here. Perfect. Good idea. Thank you. There was a big mess of polluted oxygen. Oh, yeah. Did I clean that up? I guess I mostly did. Yeah, it's mostly cleaned up. We have a little bit down here that's still a little messy, but overall not bad. Uh, gas pressure is not exactly ideal. It's sitting really low, actually. Uh, I'm going to turn this thing back on. We have a good source of algae now, so I guess I don't have to worry too much about this. We can enable that for the moment. That'll let our air pressure build up again. Everything will be good. It'll be amazing. Lots of ladders. I never lack for ladders in this game. <laughs> Some of them I can end up destroying, but at the moment... Have I heard of Factorio? Yep, I have it, actually. And I started to play the tutorials a little bit, but I just haven't carved up... I haven't carved up time to play it more. It's another one of those games that a lot of people have been suggesting I play, but I also know it's been around for a long time. Um... Although it is supposed to be a really good game, so I do I do still want to play it, but it's just I haven't made priority for it yet. And <laughs> we have clean air, yay! A certain amount of it anyway. I think this is gonna work really well. We'll find out soon enough. But this will this should give us a pretty much a, all the power we're gonna need for our colony at this from this point forward. Particularly since we're really only playing tonight. But it's just fun to play around with this stuff. The natural gas guys will still be around in the next update. Although they are totally changing the farming system around, apparently. So that's going to do a little bit of uh, a little work. And I'll have to change around the tutorial video I did for that also. You know what? The, the car mechanic simulator is just something I find really relaxing to play. It, it gets kind of repetitive because you end up doing a lot of the same jobs. But I'm almost at that point now where I can just focus on car rebuilds. And I just kind of want to like rebuild cars and sell them at auction. <laughs> so I... I don't know what that's like. I haven't tried out the auctions yet. Oh, these guys are finally running into oxygen problems. Uh, I should dig up these seeds. Because we're going to need those eventually. Um, and I should probably deal with the CO2 that's building up here a little bit. Trouble is, in order to do a scrubber, I'm going to need access to water. And the water that I've got access to now is kind of inconveniently placed. I guess I could let it drain down here, but there's polluted water down there. Hmm. How much algae do I have? No, not filtration medium. That's not what I want. Not cultivable, so organic algae. Uh, yeah, I really don't have a lot of algae. 1,763. So I kind of want to avoid the algae terrariums because they just consume too much. Um, I can artificially create more space for CO2 to store down here just by expanding that size a little bit. And that'll let some more of this. And as this air pressure builds up, the, the CO2 will recompress. It'll get it down below again. But I am going to have to clean that up. I can't just leave that forever. Yes, the update will, new work, will work with the old saves. However, some of the things you might not have in your game. For example, the ruins you wouldn't have. 
Um, you wouldn't have any any of the slime uh, the slime lung spores that are going to be in uh, in the swamp biomes. So without starting a new game, you wouldn't have those things. So I'm ultimately going to be starting a new game myself. But a thick wall, Fight Club for dupes, and <laughs> that'd be funny. Okay, so this is looking good. I do need to set this up on a power grid, though, now. Here's where things get a little tricky, because I have an awful lot on this power grid at the moment. Um, my intention is to put... Where's my power? Uh, my intention is to put a power transformer here. And this, this is a little bit silly, because we're not actually transforming the power in this way. Um... It just happens to be the way the game works right now. You don't have to use the heavy watt wire. And I've always made a point of using the heavy watt wire. Just because. Um, but you don't really have to. So in this way, I can actually connect... I can connect that way. And I, I can actually send up here and power the pumps off of that. But I'm going to need to prime it initially. Which means we're going to need power in here coming from something else. So I'm going to run this down and over. Because once we get rid of that supercomputer, that'll be one less thing we're draining on here. How's our research? Ooh, we're almost done. Actually, I think I'm done with the supercomputer. We are. Okay, good. So I can take this, the supercomputer off the grid by deconstructing that. At least new game waits for update. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're if you're super interested in, uh, uh, no, the the transformer's not backwards. It looks backwards, but it's not. So, oh, you know what? I've actually I've created a. A bad scenario here. I'm gonna break. Let's cancel the wire here first. Uh, I will ultimately connect it up that way, but initially I don't want it to be that way. Um, yeah, the power transformers are a little bit funny because you can only send the flow of power in one direction. It goes in the top left and comes out the bottom right, and you can't reverse it. Hitting the O key doesn't let you spin it around, unfortunately. I wish you could, but it doesn't. Did I finish this research yet? Oh, like two points. Two points, and we're done with all the research. Last week, Ray was the only one that was happy. Well, you're the only one that I think that might have survived last week. I mean, I think. we The game crashed, so we never really got to see the final outcome, but I'm pretty sure that's how it would have spanned out, just because of the, uh, the regeneration pod. Oh, we're so close. I want to get this power. Give me the natural gas power. I think, did we get any more? I think we might have gotten some more seeds. No, we didn't. Drat. These are at uh, 79%, so they'll be ready to harvest soon. I'm going to wind up replanting them, but... Why are the batteries after the transformers? I don't know. That's just where they happen to already be built. Um, so the power will come through the transformer, store in the batteries, and then get distributed out. It doesn't really it doesn't really matter. The batteries and the transformers don't actually draw power on the line, so it doesn't count towards the, the load. Yeah, so I have the power coming out here. It flows into the transformer and out here. And this is just a silly gating mechanism to limit the flow on this line to 1,000 watts. Later on, I'll put another transformer up here to use, like, other power up here. But actually, this colony is going to be relatively small compared to what we had in the other one, so... Betrayal. What's going to happen to this colony with the update? It's going to go bye-bye. I'm going to start a brand new colony just because I'm going to want to take advantage of the new features that are in the new update. This one is still technically going to be playable. It's just oops, suffocating. Who's not breathing? Who can't breathe? Oh, somebody like way down in the in the uh, frost biome. All right, so our air pressure is building up again because we've been pumping air out here really well. You can see how it like the pressure kind of gradient works this way, and it's squishing all the CO2 into this corner. I'm not super happy about that. I kind of would rather have it over here. I'm sort of thinking about moving this algae deoxidizer up into this space, so it pushes down this way. But I'm not super worried about it. I do have to set a scrubber down here at some point, but I'm going to need to set up a water supply for that also. We'll deal with that after we get the power situation taken care of. Um, I think I think we're ready to run on this power now. Uh, let me just check out my grids here. This is going to be one, one, one heck of a sloppy grid, unfortunately. But there's actually... I'm not even drawing that much power, all things considered. I'm, I'm going to massively over, overproduce my power needs right now. <laughs> We're going to have, like, just tons of stuff here that I'm not going to need power-wise. All right, so we can we can get rid of this thing now. We can deconstruct that. We're all finished. Uh, and I think we're ready to cut in here. So let's, uh, let's dig in this way. Clear out this whole geyser. 
so we have plenty of space in there. Uh, let's prioritize this row right here. And then we'll get the we'll get the geyser cleaned out. Oh, actually, this one's got to cancel. Stop that one. We need something to walk on. Once we get that all taken care of, oh, there goes the water. The water's going to provide like a little bit of a water seal over the door. So as they go through it, some water will pour through, but it should keep the gas from going out. I don't know what it's going to do to this Atmos switch, though. A little curious about that. Uh, this needs to be set for natural gas. There we go. Okay, where's our gas flow? Oh, yeah, that's working good. Okay, so these are going to produce, when they finally get enough natural gas to work. Oh, this ammo switch isn't going to work in here. The water's going to be a problem, I think. Um, I wonder if I can get up here and mop up some of this water. If I get that cleaned up, then we can let the gas pressure build up in here a little bit. What do I have this set at? I guess, oh, uh, if it's below zero, so obviously it's not going to turn the power on. So let's say if it's above, I don't know. Say above 1500 grams, maybe. That's another nice thing that's coming in the next update. You'll be able to click on here and actually type in the number that you want. So instead of having to move the little slide bar, you can set it to the specific number that you want, and really easily, too. Could have set up a water lock in the gas room. Yeah, I guess I could have done that also. Since I'm not really planning to have them run in and out of it, the only thing I find with the water locks is they always steal the water for some purpose or another. How's our gas pressure? All right, so the pressure's low right now, but it will build up. You know what? I should just have this thing run for now. Clear out all the... Uh... Oh, yeah, look at that. The water's blocking off the Atmos switch. Of course it is. Clean that up. <sighs> if they can mop that out, then I think we'll get finally get this thing running properly. Wait a minute. I'm missing something here. I actually have to have an output pipe for these things. I thought that just drained on the floor, but it, it looks like there's actually an output pipe. Nope. What's going on? Hold on. Oh. Oh man, it's the CO2. I forgot I needed a CO2 outlet. Okay, um, let's get a gas, not a gas filter, I need a gas bridge. Not a liquid pipe, I want a gas bridge. You know what, maybe I should send it. I don't wanna pump this anywhere that's gonna be a problem yet, so I'm gonna send it for now, if I can find my gas bridge. There it is. Um, I'm gonna send it out this way. And we'll just pump it into this space for now. And then ultimately when I get my scrubber set up, I'll send it to the scrubber instead. Just so I don't wind up with like crazy amounts of CO2 built up everywhere. Okay, you can stop you can stop mopping now. How about you get out of there? Let's lock this door. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I have a feeling that a little skim of water will help, help protect against pressure, but I'm not really sure. Alright, this is running. We got power going. We have way too much power going. <laughs> I'm going to be wasting tons of power this game. But that's okay, because we have an infinite supply coming from this natural gas geyser anyway. Okay, now that I have power flowing here, I can actually just loop this directly back. So that the natural gas power that's being produced by the generators will actually serve this to work the gas pumps also. Uh, deconstruct the wire here. It'd be like a, its own little self-fulfilling cycle there. Perfect. Twitch will reign supreme one day. I don't know about one day. Uh, you know, I—I I actually, um, I tend to use YouTube more so because that's where my channel's located. So that's my primary, my primary place to stream ultimately. And then I've only just started using Twitch. Um, but I do like that the there are some things about Twitch where the quality is a little bit better, which is kind of nice. Atmos switch is flooded again. Oh, it is. Uh, maybe I should just do away with the Atmos switch. Just pump the gas constantly. 
That water is going to be a problem. You know what? Let's just deal. Let's just get rid of the water altogether. I'll leave the Atma switch. We'll we'll get rid of all this nastiness and we'll we'll mop up the water. I can get the algae out of there anyway. I'm sure it'll have a, it'll come in handy. The trouble is when I open up this door, there's going to be a certain amount of gas that's going to come out. Get all that mopped out, folks. There you go. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> they can't breathe in there. So I've got them like digging and mopping in a space they can't breathe. I'm a cruel taskmaster. There we go. That's better. No, don't clean up the mess. Just just leave that stuff. And lock the door. Nobody cares about the junk on the floor. There we go. Okay, so that should run on its own now, pretty much indefinitely. We don't have to worry about that. Be sweet. Okay, so next task. Um, I should probably do something about the CO2. Uh, I think maybe we'll set up our scrubber system down below here. So I'm going to need to dig. Let's take out another layer here. I really should just let the water flood down here. And same thing with the water that's above here. I should just cut a tunnel right here and let it all fall down below so I can make use of it. I hope it doesn't freeze, though, because of this cold biome that's right here. Like, it's, it's really cold in this space. But let's dig out... Let's dig out, the, like, this whole area. I'm going to have to mop up the junk that's here, unfortunately. So this can kind of act as, like, a little... A little CO2 well as well, because the CO2 will kind of collect down here. Um, and then depending on where the water settles, I'll build a layer on top of it of, uh, of permeable tile, and we'll just put our scrubber down there. And that way all the CO2 that collects down below here will get all cleaned up. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I actually have a lot... I have trouble customizing in Twitch. I don't know what the deal is. I, for some reason, my brain doesn't work really well with <laughs> trying to sort out the way my channel and stuff looks on, on Twitch. I did, uh, like a... A graphic or whatever for when I'm offline, but other layout stuff on the Twitch page and things, I, I don't know what it is. I, I, I can't sort it out very well. It's it's not lining up the way that I want it to and stuff. So I kind of need to work on that a little more. Jillian, don't suffocate. You've got plenty of oxygen up here. Just run up and get some. Uh, I'm going to prioritize the upper layer so they'll climb up and dig this down. Hopefully. No, they're not going to. Of course they're not. It'll be interesting to see what happens when I send the water down here, if it's going to break any tiles on the way down. Pumps being powered by the generators that are supported by the pump. If something stops working, it all does. It does, yeah, but I can reconnect a wire in there. It's not really that big a deal. Actually, what I should do... What I should do is... Uh, I'll just do this power switch like right here, and I'll run a wire through it. Like so. And then if, if for some reason... Like, if these things burn through all the gas before enough gas is built up here for this to turn back on, and therefore they're not producing power so that it doesn't work, then, worst case scenario, I've got this switch right here. So we'll turn uh, we'll turn that switch off. And then I can just flick the switch on if I need to supply power to the pump. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is to either dead Logan, but I, I do know that... Um, I don't know that the Twitch will change the, the quality of the feed from what the person sends to it unless you're at a certain level with Twitch. So if you're like a... Uh, I don't know if you have to be an affiliate or it's like a partner or something, but I, I don't think they change the uh, the feed quality level. It just ends up coming through as what the person sent it as. And some people just don't have the ability... Oh, did I trap them down here? No, they're good. Why are they complaining? They can get out. Just mop this up. Clean up the mess. Okay, so we have a really big space down here now for the CO2 to collect. Uh, and we're going to fill it with water. So this whole bottom portion here will be full of water. So I need to dig this out. There's a point for the pump working with 100 grams or something. Yeah, it's just a waste of power, ultimately. You could also put a battery in the room as a store backup power in case of gas shortage. Yeah, I could do that also. Hey, Kazi, how's things? Power to the bump. Uh, okay, so I've kind of created a scenario here. Okay, this is draining down. Okay. Let's uh, let's extend this ladder upwards now. And we'll send the water that's up here plunging down into the basement. Just cut it right through, I guess. It's not going to get all of it, but I can, I can clean it up and get the rest of it down there after. So the water that's here should fall all the way down. 
hit on these wonderful tiles, flood through this door, which I'm going to lock for now. I probably shouldn't do that first. Let's maybe set that at a priority eight. Just lock the door. <laughs> totally not sober. Oh my goodness. Tipsy mods are the best mods, except when they start like random banning people. That's that's not good. I don't think Caitlyn does that. We're good. <laughs> no, no content yet for Kazi. Actually, he tried to record some stuff, but the sound wasn't working out. We're having to sort out some sound recording issues. There's always something. <laughs> so the pump would be turned off, and then not allow the generator to run out of gas, and then the whole power system's offline. Well, I have manual generators up here anyway. So if that were the case, I just flick this switch. They use the manual generators to produce power for the pump, which sends it over here. Uh, or I still have batteries storing power down here also. I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. These things are chock full of, of gas, and they'll keep running even if this pump's not going. Like, it's not running right now, but they keep producing power. Um, even the gas line, they can only churn through it so quick, but it'll be fine. We're good. We have. We, I think this is probably the, the most efficient power supply that I've gotten set up so far. So I think that works well. Food shortage. Food shortage. Oh, I got. I guess I should clean up the sand that's down here. Uh, we're almost through, so we'll get another flood of water dumping all the way down here, and we'll fill up the reservoir down below. And then I'll finally have some water positioned in a place that I can make better use of it. Oh, look at it go! Oh boy, it made a little bit of mess on the way down. <laughs> I wasn't planning on that. Maybe a little bit more of a mess than I planned. Hopefully, it doesn't break this door. As it's filling up all this chamber down here. That would be bad. I don't need it flooding down into our cold biome. Okay, we have a little bit more to grab here. This is just coal. We can dig this out. Put an entry to the gas room on the top and remove the, the bottom door. Say what? I don't really see any... I don't, I don't see any point in making any of the changes to this. It's already in a... It's already set up in a way. It's all going to work fine. I don't really feel like tweaking it too much. Okay, I need to clean up the mess I made now. Let's mop up this water. Oh wow, I actually have water everywhere. Get rid of that so they're not stressed about it. Ooh, 55%. Man, this is the worst stress I've had in a while too. I should probably do something about my decor. Let's check that. Check our paintings. Uh, oh yeah, alright. So they probably just need some down here. Oh, come on. Oh, that was derpy. There we go. Use the shift key. Imagine how that works. We'll just paint up the whole thing. There's really no reason not to, I guess. Uh, these batteries are already cool, so I don't really need the water sitting here. I can mop that up. Okay. I think we're good to go. Everything's running smooth as silk right now. This is where everything's going to go off the rails. My game, <laughs> my game will crash and people will die. Always worry when things are going too well. Maybe sounds playing back through your mic as well as your video. I don't think it's that. I think it's um. I think you might have more than one audio device picking up the sound, Kazi, and sending it to the Elgato. Because uh, we're using the Elgato sound capture, but it might also be using a different. Uh, it might be getting a second sound feed, but we'll have to check it. Water always spit on one side. I'm not sure I understand what you mean there. I don't know if they're, if they're changing the water behavior. I haven't heard anything about it. How did this turn out? Actually, that level turned out just about perfect for what I want to do. So let's um, let's put some gas variable tile in here. Now we're gonna we're gonna create some polluted water, but that's okay. I can actually just uh, send that. I'm not really using all my sand right now anyway, so I'll just clean it, and we'll get. Our little scrubber system going here. It's going to produce a little bit of heat, but how's our temperature down here? Temperature isn't bad, so I think it'll actually help to maintain the temperature, too. Where are we here? Refinement. Water purifier. I kind of want this to be... I want the water purifier to be closer to the cold, because it has a tendency to get a little bit on the warm side. So we'll do that. And actually, I can drip the water right onto this platform and then let it run off, and that will help cool stuff, too. All right. I think this will be good. Okay, so... Uh, oxygen. Get our air scrubber here. Oh, Wait a minute. Where's the CO2 gone? Oh. <laughs> I'm completely wasting my time. 
The CO2 is not even collecting down here. It all went into the cold biome. Like all of it. <laughs> I basically flooded the cold biome with CO2. And we've got a tiny little pocket of it up here, but nothing else. That's crazy. Uh, I should probably dig it out. Let's, let's try and get the CO2 that's up here to settle a little bit. We'll dig all that out. Uh, and we'll throw in... Not that I really need it, but we'll throw in some tile here. If we get tighter seal around the natural gas, you can make more gas, or you can use gas valve. You can control the gas going in the generators. Uh, I'm, I'm really not worried about it. I mean, the only gases that are in here right now... This, this is all natural gas. I mean, I could, I could actually... I set this thing really low, but I can adjust the I can adjust this to let the pressure build up. Are you kidding me? Ah, <laughs> uh, I wasn't watching. They're both dead. There's no way I'm gonna get down there to rescue them. How did they even get in there? I I bet you they fell in the water while they were building the floor, and rather than climbing out this way. They climbed up this way, and they suffocated, because there's not... Actually, there's tons of air in here. How do they suffocate? Interrupt to sleep, sloppy, chilling surroundings, can't reach food, dram decor, exhaling... Why are they taking damage? Calvin's gonna die, and they have air. Oh, are they sitting... Oh, they're sitting in a little pocket of CO2. Ah, uh, okay. I don't think they're gonna be able to do this in time. There we go. Haha, <laughs> saved them. <laughs> All right, let's get a ladder in here. I'm trying to get a little rescue team. Uh, I hate when I'm not paying attention to something and they end up going and getting themselves dead. Uh, and now, I don't need this anymore. I can cancel that. That stinks. Stinks. Dupes are not so smart, I know. <laughs> that stunk. What? Okay, so not only... Did they allow themselves to die over here? But as soon as they took a breath, she ran through the water and came out the other side anyway. So it, I don't even need the ladder now that I'm making. Ah, oh, that is so lame. Whatever. Crazy duplicates. They're crazy. What's entombed? Oh. <laughs> this whole thing is going to go off the rails before we get a chance to finish it. Let's get rid of the building they got their head trapped in. How did they even get in there that time? All right. These guys are crazy. Say hello to the little green animals. They did troll me. I don't get it. Time for a new dupe. That's right. I should turn the door back on. Enable building. <laughs> of all the ways the duplicates die, I swear, it's, it's usually the silly ones that get me. Um, I can't get to the body over here, and it's going to start to pollute the... I guess I really should build that ladder. If I don't get the body out of there, it's gonna to start to pollute my water. And I don't like that. Oh, look at all the hatches we have down here. That's amazing. Sweet. Okay, I need a storage container down here. Give these guys some food. We got a good coal supply. Not that I need it, because I'm running off a of natural gas power instead of coal power. But we'll feed them. We'll keep them as little pets. It'll be like our little farm down there. It'll all be good. Although I'm gonna need this copper at some point. If you dig the fertilizer, you might survive. Might. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, right. I ran out of air. I ran out of algae again. How about that? All right. We can just go over here. Dig out more of this. There's more algae in here. Uh, let's do priority six on this so they dig this out sooner rather than later. I do need to set up an oxygen supply. But now that I have a pool of water down here, I can kind of do that. Messy, messy, messy. Hatch pets, that's right. We got a whole flock of them. One, two, three, there's five of them there. That'll be cool. I think that's the most I've managed to have in one place at any given time in this game. Probably by a fair margin, too. Like, not even just a little bit. That's a fair amount. A fair amount more than I've ever had in one place. Uh, I want to get rid of this polluted air that's here. Because I don't like the polluted airs. Okay, air scrubber is going to go... All oh, right. All right, we'll, we'll put an air scrubber down here, though. I don't think it's going to be terribly necessary now. Not for a little while, anyway. Um, okay, so we're going to need fresh water to come in here, which means we're going to need a pump. And can I get a liquid pump down here? Will they be able to reach, I wonder? 
Waiting gold to lose. Uh, yeah, okay, that's good. We are going to need a ladder so that I can build the piping up. It's it's pretty much just within their reach, I think. Uh, and then I'm going to need a tombstone. And I guess I'll put the tombstones up top here so it's not really in my way. A little tasteful memorial up here. You need, you need to do something with CO2 on the right side of the generator is producing a lot of CO2. Um, yeah, it, eventually when I get the scrubber and stuff set up here, I'll pump it down here and I'll scrub it. It's building up here. It was getting a, lot, a large concentration of it over here, but... At some point, it's going to get so this gas vent is going to... Yeah, there it is. The gas vent's already overpressurized. So the gas vent's going to stop allowing it to go through. Uh, which is going to kind of gum up the whole works. What did I set this thing at? If it's above 1,200. Let's set it for it's above 1,000. No, oh, you know what? Let's set it even higher. We really don't need that much power. Oh, no, we do. We ran out of gas down here. <laughs> Everything's going to go off the rails now. Starvation, we got zero kilocalories. Man, I'm not paying attention to anything today. Too much time looking at the chat today. Think you got the message? I don't know. We harvested some sleet wheat. Ooh, we got all kinds of sweet sleet wheat grains. So I can actually connect this up to a power grid now too and we can do some cooking. Uh, let's mop up the water that's here. Let's plant some sleet wheat. Copy settings. We'll get this whole thing going. <laughs> I'll sub you if you sub me. Oh, sub for sub, Kazi. So bad. <laughs> Alright, we got a little bit of pressure here now. Okay, so... When I get this scrubber going, we're going to need piping to go down over there. So I should look at my plumbing. Where's my gas piping? Let's get some of this fancy, dirty air out of here. Uh, I can send it right through a door, actually. We'll go like down this way. Now I'm going to dump it out right at our scrubber over here. So we can pump it all out of that space, and that way we won't build up too much pressure over there. We already got a really... There's a lot of carbon dioxide in here that probably should get scrubbed out, but I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not super worried about it. But if we can get this taken care of so that it doesn't block this up... No, we're not pumping enough. I'm going to set the pressure lower. Send more gas! There we go. Perfect. <laughs> you know, so back to listen to his lies. Ah, uh, funny. Oh, that's a cute Zoidberg picture. <laughs> a family-friendly channel with casual drinking. Well, it's not me doing the casual drinking. It's everybody else, apparently. <laughs> that's right, Norvin. Angel's going to be waiting. She's probably going to hope that all of our poor little duplicates die a horrible, painful death. They'll be okay, though. We'll work it out. Um, alright, I can finish the plumbing down here now, since this is ready to go. Input there, we'll go from here over to here. And then this one, we'll just... I'm gonna put this up above, and we're gonna dump it right on top of stuff. So it will cool things off for me. So with this little loop, I won't really consume any water that's down here, but it will produce heat, so hopefully the water that's dripping down here will help keep things cool. It'll keep a little layer of water on here, and then nothing will overheat on me. You're, you're right, the sleepy door is locked, so they can't replant it. Thank you. Turn that back on auto. Alright, so they can go in there and replant now. They can pick up the seeds, hopefully before they go bad on me. Um, not that I could cook the sleepy yet. Let's go in here and make some frost buns. Frost buns! Mm, frost buns. About to need a CO2 scrubber by your new pool. Well, I've got a CO2 scrubber down there, though. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Well, I gotta pump all that. See, because I didn't put an outlet on here yet, none of the CO2 is gonna move. It won't move until I put an outlet. And then I'll destroy the one that's over on this side because it's not moving. Oh, it's all jamming up in the pipe now. It's actually gonna... These are gonna turn off in a second. <laughs> it's good like I got my batteries charged up. Because this is gonna shut off. 
Speaking of shutting off, I'll turn this off again. <laughs> Alright, have a good night, Samantha. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Come on, build fast, people. Faster than what you're doing now, preferably. Yes, Caitlyn's gone mad with mod power. It's gone to her head. She cannot take the responsibility. Overall, I think this is going relatively okay. I'm going to dig in here and get some more, a little more algae out of here. Because you can never have enough algae, particularly when you don't have an oxygen room set up, which I really need to get around to doing, but I probably won't bother doing tonight. Because after tonight, I'm not going to be playing this colony anymore. With the update coming out on Thursday, when we play on Thursday, we're going to start a brand new colony so we can take advantage of the new features. I want to find some runes. Because there's supposed to be some fancy runes that they're uh, adding to the game. We can play around with all the new... All the new features. I want to. I want to see what the challenge is like in trying to manage diseases and illness and stuff. I, I don't know if it's going to necessarily be that that uh, that hectic or anything, but I am curious to see what it will be like. Uh, let's get this over here. Or need power down here. Man, we're actually starting to get a lot of things on this power grid. A little bit more than I would normally like. So maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't connect to the power here. And instead... I want to do this. I can put another transformer up here, I guess. I don't know if I, don't know if I have enough space there, though. It might be tall. No, oh, it does fit. And then I can disconnect the power here and have just this top part working on this grid. Actually... I can connect the top. I can just disconnect it here as it is. Let's deconstruct that one little spot of wire, and then everything's good. I think. Hold on. No, it's not good because I got that silly switch there. Ah, blast! All right, let's deconstruct the switch. My little control switch is not helping with my control. There we go. That's what I want, or something like it. So up here, I have very little actually drawing on the power. There's, uh, well, 240 when this is running, so 240 there. Another 240, another 120. So, I mean, we're not even close to hitting the 1,000 on that line. Two kilowatts per one kilowatt. See, it's funny. Like, this line can take all the power in the world. It's only when you, like, try to draw too much power that it, it causes a problem. One... One, two, three, four. Okay, they should be able to reach that. Good. This is almost done down here. If they would just finish things a little bit. I just need, like, this little bit here. Set that priority six. And then I can set up in my plumbing the little vent over here. So we can start sending CO2 this way. If it would just finish this. <laughs> just a little bit more. Oh, this will be yours one day, Simba. Oh, my goodness. Don't think there's any difference between the airlocks except that the mechanical airlock opens and closes faster. Yeah, they're pretty much the same. Well, and if you power up the me the, uh, the mechanical airlock, you can set it so that only certain duplicates can pass through it. So you can kind of create a gated mechanism where if you, don't want, if you don't want certain duplicates going into an area, you can control who goes in there. That's pretty much it. It's un is it unreachable? It's four blocks high. One, two, three, four. No, it is five. Ah, drat. It's five. Oh, uh, they can't reach it. Okay, so we'll do another ladder because I don't have enough of those in this game. And they won't be able to reach from there either. Ah, come on. This game sometimes. It's out to get me. Can we build a ladder here? Can they make use of that? Tell me they can do something there with it. I hope they can. You should be careful because he's more popular in chat than me. <laughs> he's out to get me. He's going to steal everything. Horrible, evil thief. Big, sharp, pointy teeth. Okay, so we have that. I can put my little... Uh, where is my plumbing? Put our little gas vent down here so we can send extra CO2 down to the scrubber. And that will keep it busy. 
And then up here, I'm going to need to uh, probably disconnect this connection up here because I think it's going to... If I check my gas flow... Yeah, it's all going one direction. It's not going the direction I want it to. So I'm going to go up here. We'll just deconstruct my little bridge. And that will send all the gas flowing the other direction once it's destroyed. And then we'll just completely overwhelm the base with CO2. <laughs> That'll be good. One our gas piping seems to be able to share a square. It does, yeah. So you can overlay several different things. You can have uh, electrical, gas, water, and like a ladder or, a, or whatever, for example. Or even a tile, for that matter. Let's grab another duplicate. This will get us back to number eight since I let somebody die. Let's see. Gastrophobia, irritable bowel, scaredy cat, dimensionally inept biohazard. Well, I guess I'm going to go with the scaredy cat because I don't really care about scaredy cat as a trait. It's not really a downside from my, from my thinking. Anyway... Uh, who wants to be in the colony? We're going to get pretty close to the end of the stream, so this is going to be a short-lived visit by whoever joins the game here. Still playing this game? Not bored for me yet? Nope. I still enjoy Oxygen Unoccluded. Dead Logan. All right, welcome to the colony. Dead Logan 69. Like I said, it's going to be a short visit. Because we're pretty, we're getting close to the end of the stream for tonight. Got about another 15 minutes or so left. Um, so when we come back on Thursday, I'm going to be streaming again at 10 o'clock... Eastern Time, and we'll be playing the new update. Uh, but to, to answer your question, no, I'm I'm definitely not tired of this game yet. <laughs> I still enjoy building colonies, and they're still adding new content to it as the game's being developed. So it still leaves more for me to check out and do. So I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, they destroyed that bridge, so we have our CO2 flowing here now. This pump's going to get really busy really quick. Now, fortunately, we have a pretty good air pressure up here, so that will keep the CO2 down below. Um, but it's not going to be really pleasant for anyone who comes down here to do any farming, unfortunately. I could do the little... Actually, I could do the little airlock door trick here. Let's destroy... Let's deconstruct this little block here. And that'll keep any more CO2 from building up in this uh, wonderful cold biome. Keep it trapped in the area that I want it in. Lies, we'll be playing DST on Thursday. I will not. We'll definitely be playing Oxygen Not Included on Thursday because I've been looking forward to the update and I want to get my hands dirty on it. See, here's that uh, here's that little little gimmick where you can jump under the door. It's still active. It's not something they fixed. It might. I don't know if in the new update if it's gonna if it'll still work or not. We'll have to test it out. But it's pretty handy for going through a door and not actually having to open it. Okay, so that's working well. Uh, we'll clean up the CO2 down here pretty quickly, I would imagine. Even though we're pumping more CO2 into the into the space with this little air scrubber, I think it'll probably do a pretty good job of staying on top of it. <laughs> we have a fair concentration of CO2 in here, but there's also all this polluted oxygen that's stopping the CO2 from getting to the door, which is neat. All in all, not bad. We have a little bit of food. Uh, we've got nobody cooking yet, so let's make the frost buns. I forgot to turn that on. Frost buns. So funny, but never talking Discord. Yeah, there's actually a lot of people that register for the Discord and they like to like hang out, but there's sent not as many people ultimately chatting as what I thought there might be. Um, there's a pretty pretty much like a core group of people that talk all the time, and then every once in a while you see other people kind of chime in. But I don't know if it's because people are just sort of watching and not really talking, or they're just not, not really logging in. But if you do like the chat, we do have a Discord set up. Uh, the link for the dis wait a minute is that an old duplicates have died or is that a new one? Oh, it's the old one. Okay, good. <laughs> for a second there, I thought someone else died on me. Um, if you do like to chat, the, the link for the Discord is uh, is down below. Now, also, if you're someone that follows the channel uh, and or uh, like a subscriber, then I, I might recommend also following my Twitter feed uh, because it's between Discord and Twitter. Those are the only ways to really have to reach out to people unless it's a scenario where... Um, you know, I can do a video or something well in advance because I, I, there's no way in, in YouTube right now to do announcements. They're actually going to have sort of a chat feed that's similar to what you get for events in uh, in Twitch. But it's not something that's live for everybody yet. Only a few people have it because it's in beta testing. But in the meantime, the, the best way that I can get a hold of people is through Discord or uh, or or Twitter. So if you follow those uh, items and you want to keep up the, with the channel, that's probably the best way to go about it. So I can kind of reach out. Yeah, blah, blah, blah words. That's right. <laughs> I'll stalk the core chatters. Okay, I think this is going to be the last cycle that we're going to play for tonight. Get rid of this research notice since we're pretty much done all that. 
I don't think we really have too much time to dig into too much else. Um, we have our we have our, our like oxygen cleaning system down here, which should work well. Although this spot over here is going to trap some CO2. Eventually, I'll break this open so we get that better flow all around. Um, but I do kind of like that right now the oxygen can only build up so much down here. Uh, CO2 is going to pick up a little bit because I'm pumping it into this space, but with the air pressure that's up here, it'll hold it down below and keep it close to our scrubber, so that should work well. We're not actually consuming any water with this system because it the, uh, produces as much polluted water as it, con as it consumes fresh water, which is then getting scrubbed, dropped back down. That should help with the temperatures. Oh, that's actually still hot. Wow. I'm surprised that's as hot as it is. Uh, nevertheless, it's made out of gold amalgam, so it should be able to hold off the heat, I think. Uh, overall, I, I'm actually, I'm really happy with how the power system turned out over here, which is good. I like that. That's, that's really, I'm, this thing's not connected, but I, I really like how, how the whole, the gas geyser system works. I know that some people are looking ultimately for, like, steam-generated power also, but the natural gas was a really nice addition, and something extra that we could put in, because I was getting to the point where I would run out of coal, and then I was trying to do all kinds of craziness to feed hatches to get coal so I could keep my coal power generators and stuff going, but it's nice to have an alternative now that is more of a constant feed. Uh, so that's been really great. This room here, actually, there's a little bit of polluted oxygen trapped up near the top of the natural gas geyser too, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Ultimately, I'm not worried about it. All right, so we're, uh, we're rounding down to the end of the stream. I'm gonna call it a wrap for tonight. Uh, if you do enjoy Oxygen Unincluded and you want to see the new updates, uh, I do have a stream scheduled for Thursday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, if you're not currently subscribed to the channel but want to follow along with the videos or the uh, or the live streams, then certainly consider clicking on the subscribe button. If you do, I also recommend clicking on the bell so you get the notifications. Otherwise, it doesn't send out a notification to everybody. It only sends out some of them. Um, I probably will be on Discord for a little while after this, Dead Logan. Um, Probably not too late tonight, just for a little bit. Uh, it's been kind of a long week already, and it's only Tuesday. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll pop on there to chat for a little bit as well. Thanks to everyone who comes out to watch the streams. Uh, those of you who, in particular who are here regularly, that's that's amazing. I love that there's a core group of people that like to come and watch. Uh, to all of you who just popped in tonight and maybe don't subscribe, like I said, maybe click the subscribe button so you can follow along. We'll definitely be playing more Oxygen Not Included, particularly with the update coming out on Thursday, and then uh, I'm kind of splicing in some other games as well. But um, thanks again, everyone, for watching the stream. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time. <laughs>